Hi everyone! Welcome to English for You. I'm Kat, and I'm Trickling. And today we are talking about earthquakes. <gasps> Scary. Have you lived through any big earthquakes, and did your stuff get damaged? The biggest one I've experienced is the one that happened in 2006, the、Ooh. Hunchuan earthquake.、Ooh. It was really big. It was the biggest one I've experienced. Oh, would you? Did you didn't you didn't experience the the one in nineteen ninety nine, the one that like you mean destroyed? Joe, I I think I I was like really young, so I didn't、oh. really know. I was asleep. Oh, okay. I was like、yeah. three or four. Oh, okay.、Yeah. When I was one year old, or maybe less than one year old, there was the big San Francisco earthquake of nineteen eighty nine, and、uh, that was really really. Disastrous. Like a lot of buildings、oh. were de- destroyed or damaged. Yeah, but、uh, mm-hmm. yeah, definitely. You know, earthquakes can cause a lot of damage, and so especially when you live in a place like Taiwan, you want to make sure that the buildings you are building or living in are going to be safe, right? Yeah,、mm-hmm. yeah. And I think that the way they do these is really interesting.、Uh, the way that they earthquake-proof buildings, and so. Our article today is actually about a couple of them. One of which is right here in Taipei. So why don't we go ahead and start learning about it? Reading. Protecting our buildings from earthquakes. Taiwan, where I'm from, experiences its fair share of earthquakes. Because of this, buildings here are designed to resist earthquakes. I've always been interested in how this is done. Here's my report from some places I've visited. Taipei 101. This tower employs a wind damper. It's one of only two in the world that people can see up close. I've been here several times. The damper is a giant golden ball that hangs below Taipei 101's observation deck. I learned that the builders sent it up in pieces. And put it together at the top. Like other wind dampers, it creates a force that balances the forces that are caused by the earthquake. Komatsu Matare. I visited this building in Nomi City, Japan, a few years ago. It was built with carbon fiber. This makes it look like it's covered by a spider's web. The carbon fiber strengthens the structure against shaking. These strong fibers also help protect Komatsu Matare against other forces such as floods and strong winds. Okay, our article starts out today as kind of a narrative from a person who is talking in first person. That means they're using I, me, my, mine, those kind of pronouns. So they're talking about their personal experience. So the article says, Taiwan, where I'm from, experiences its fair share of earthquakes for sure. So fair share of something means that somebody wants. Uh, it's it's more than somebody wants or more than they need. Basically, it's you know it's kind of I've had enough of this. This is my fair. I've had my fair share, and I don't want any more of it. That's what it means to say you have your fair share of something. And definitely, earthquakes are not something you want to have a lot of, right? <laughs> okay, so here, one's fair share of something is experienced much. That usually, this phrase refers to more serious things. Oh, so this phrase refers to more serious things. Oh, so this phrase refers to more serious things. Oh, so this phrase refers to more serious things. Oh, so this phrase refers to more serious things. Oh, so this phrase refers to more serious things. Oh, so this phrase refers to more serious things. Oh, so this phrase refers to more serious things. Oh, so this phrase refers to more serious things. Oh, so this phrase refers to more serious things. Oh, so this phrase refers to more serious things. Oh, so this phrase refers to more serious things. Oh, so this phrase refers to more serious things. Oh, so this phrase refers to more serious things. Oh, so this phrase refers to more serious things. Oh, so this phrase refers to more serious things. Oh, so this phrase refers to more serious things. Oh, so this phrase refers to more serious things. Oh, so this phrase refers to more serious things. Oh, so this phrase refers to more serious things. Oh, so this phrase refers to more serious things. Oh, so this phrase refers to more serious things. Oh, so this phrase refers to more serious things. Oh, so Yeah. So the article, the person who's talking, goes on to say, because of this, buildings here are designed to resist earthquakes. Of course, they are. That's what you need to do if you want the buildings to stay standing and not rebuild them all the time. So to resist something is our first vocabulary word here. It's a verb that means to remain strong against the effect of something else or against the force of something else. Force is a word we'll talk about later, but right now, talking about resist means like. Not being affected or harmed by something. So, if a building resists earthquakes, then that means the earthquakes don't harm the building, and that's something you definitely want. 
Another thing that you might want to resist in a force of nature is strong winds, especially if it's typhoon season or um, something that resists water, like something that you own, like a watch. A watch might be designed to resist water so that if you're doing your dishes or washing your hands and it gets wet, it's not going to get damaged or hurt. So an example sentence talks about just that. This watch is made to resist water, so it will still work if it gets a little bit wet. Okay, so resist 就是抵挡或不受什么的影响或损害。那当然，老师刚刚有讲到 temptation 这种这种东西，它就是诱惑。所以可能 maybe 你很想吃个东西，你要忍住。比如说 ，you like brownies too much， 你就是没有办法控制住想吃的欲望，你就可以说 ，I can never resist brownies， 代表哇，真的太好吃了，每次看到。I know. <笑>然后这个字呢，它的形容词是 resistant， 就是对什么东西有抵抗能力。那老师刚刚有说到，这个 resist， 如果它可以呢抵挡水，代表它是抗水的。所以如果变成形容词，就可以说 water resistant。可是它是抗水的。那另外，如果我们依照等级排，第二抗水就是防泼水的，像是一些外套那种，你就可以说它是 water repellent， 它是防泼水的。那最厉害呢 ？A hundred percent 就是 waterproof， 就是完全是防水的。嗯哼 ，Yeah. So be careful with that. Just because your thing is water resistant doesn't mean it's waterproof. You can't go swimming with your phone.、Mm -hmm. No, it's gonna、yeah. get damaged. Yeah, for sure. 文章说，因为有 Yeah， 有很多地震的关系，所以我们的建筑物呢是被设计成抗震的。嗯哼。So how do buildings resist earthquakes? The person says, "I've always been interested in how this is done. Here's my report from some places I've visited." Okay, so we're going to learn about some buildings they've been to that are good at resisting earthquakes and how. Yay! So this writer, he just said, he has always been interested in how this is done. So what is our first one? 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 Taipei One O One, Eling E. Now the sentence says this tower employs a wind damper, and if you've ever visited the top of it, you would know. So as we know, Taipei One O One is a tower. This is our next vocabulary word. It is a noun for a tall, narrow building or a structure that stands apart from other things. It's not attached to another thing, or it might be attached, but it's taller than the rest of the building. So, like, if you have a castle and then you have a very tall part on the castle, that's a tower. Yeah. So, the example sentence we have for tower: the man climbed to the top of the radio tower to fix a part of it that was high off the ground. Yeah. So that's a tower, and of course, Taipei One O One has this thing in it called a wind damper. A damper is something that decreases or lessens the effect of something else. So if it's a wind damper, it decreases the effect of wind. It makes it more resistant to wind. Okay, so 老师刚刚讲的这个字 tower， 它是塔或者是高楼的意思。这个很有名的塔，埃菲尔铁塔就是 the Eiffel Tower， 也就是这个字哦。那这个字呢，我们也可以把它当成可依靠的人、支柱的意思。你只要在后面加上。Strength 这个字，所以 a tower of strength 代表就是你可以依靠的人。比如说 ，Beck was a tower of strength to him when he broke up with his girlfriend， 就代表 Beck 是他分手的时候一个很好的支柱。那一直在讲到这个字 damper， 它是阻尼球的意思，所以这个东西它意思就是它利用阻尼特性呢来减缓力学震动的装置，所以文章中的意思就是台北一零一这个高楼它有一个风阻尼球。那我们用的这个单词 employ， 它是比较正式的用法，是采用的意思。So the article goes on to say it's one of the only two in the world that people can see up close. I've been here several times. I actually have too. I've、uh, been to the top of Taipei One Hundred One at least two times and seen the wind damper there. It's huge.、Wow. Have you been there? I haven't. <laughs> oh, it's it's really big. I think you could live in it a little bit comfortably. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's huge.、Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So up close 就是近距离的，所以文章说它是世界唯一。呃，世界上唯二可以近距离观看的阻尼球，代表世界上只有两个可以近距离观看。可是 Taipei One On One 这个是其中一个，所以这个 writer 他说他已经来这边有好几次了
Mm -hmm. So you can go up to the observation deck, well, uh, the the tall deck of Taipei 101, and you can actually see this ball up close and personal, which means very, very close to you. Now, the article goes on to say the damper is a giant golden ball that hangs below Taipei 101's observation deck. Yeah, for sure. And so the observation deck in Taipei 101 and other tall buildings like this, it's like a level of a building or a bus or a ship um, where the purpose is for you to go out on it and be able to look at everything. That's observation is when you are able to look at things. So yeah, it's the floor of Taipei 101 with windows on all sides and you can see the entire city. That's the observation deck. Have you been up? Oh, you haven't been up there. <laughs> you already asked you. No, I haven't. <laughs> oh, you so should definitely go. I will, like, after all this is over, you know, mm -hmm. the, yeah. the virus thing, yeah. So, it's a it says, observation so observation deck, it's a observation deck. So, it means that this damper is a very big damper, and it is floating on the observation deck of Taipei 101. The, uh, the writer says, I learned that the builders sent it up in pieces and put it together at the top. That makes sense to me, because if you send up the entire thing, it'd be too heavy to bring up. So to put together means being, you know, being sent up in pieces is a hint. It's like a puzzle. It has to be, you know, everything put in the right place. You have all the parts, you just need to make them into one big thing, one big ball with the big cables and all of that, you know, it's a very yeah. big thing to put together. Right, so it's just a joint, a joint meaning. Then you can put together, for example, put people and things together. For example, Michaela has a crush on William, so I put them together at the dinner table. Ooh. 意思这样就是把他们组合在一起。这<笑>个文章说呢，呃，我听他们说，因为这个金球真的太重了，所以工程师他们就是分批分段把这些东西零件都吊上去，然后在顶端再焊接成型，用钢缆来悬吊，所以它非常的重 ，it's very heavy. And the writer says, like other wind dampers, it creates a force that balances the forces that are caused by the earthquake. That's true. So if you've ever seen a video of like Taipei 101 during a typhoon, maybe the wind is blowing it one way, the damper will go the other way so that the tower stays straight so that it won't fall mm -hmm. over. Yeah. So we have this word here, which is related to this called force. Force is a noun that means like physical strength or a power or an effect. If you say that you're doing something with force, uh, it means you are moving it strongly or powerfully or, uh, you know, something like that. And then an adjective would be forceful. You are doing something forcefully as the adverb. And it's also a verb to force somebody to do something, to make them do it. So an example sentence for force might be, since Andy was so small, she had to use a lot of force to push open the heavy door. 所以呢 ，force 这边是力量的意思。那它当动词，老师刚刚也讲，你就是强迫谁去做什么事情。People， 比如说呢 ，people used to be forced into arranged marriages， 代表以前的人是被强迫跟自己不喜欢的人结婚。那这边呢，一样，我们可以用一个另外一个片语是 to force a laugh or to force a smile， 代表你强颜欢笑的意思，代表你没有很想笑。Now it's just like faking a smile。所以就比如说、mm -hmm. ，it is said that forcing a smile at work is bad for your health。All right. So yeah, force, and then we have balance. So the force of the damper ball balances the tower. I already kind of talked about this a little bit, but balance is a verb that means to make a different or opposite thing less powerful. So if you have an earthquake force, a wind force, then the damper ball goes opposite and it balances it out. So it's like making something steady by keeping the weight equal on all sides. Like if you do yoga, you might balance on one foot. You might, if you don't like the taste of strong coffee, you could balance the strong taste with some sweet milk. Or if you're doing a math problem, you have to balance both sides of the equation. So yeah, that's mm -hmm. what it means to balance. And of course, with a tower like Taipei 101, which could cause a big disaster if it falls over, you want to balance it. So an example sentence for balance could be, this boxer's faster moves balance him against the other one's stronger punches. 所以它这些是当抵消或平衡。大家以前学可能是名词的话，就比当平衡的意思。不过在我们文章中是当动词。所以如果把什么东西平衡起来，就是 to balance something out or to balance something up。比如说 ，we need to invite five more girls to balance up the numbers。代表 maybe we have two more or、uh, too many boys。所以我们需要更多女生才可以男女平衡。
那文章就是说呢，像其他的风阻泥球一样，它会产生一种力来平衡呢由地震引起的力。Okay, so the next building we're going to learn about in this series of earthquake-proof buildings is Komatsu Matere. So it's a building in Japan.、Uh, the、uh, the author says I visited this building in Nomi City, Japan, a few years ago. 哦，所以这个作者呢，其实他几年前就有到这个小松马特雷，它是一间日本的高科技纺织布料开发公司。那这个就在日本石川县的能美市。Right, so this building has a special way of resisting earthquakes too. Because if you've been to Japan or if you know a little about Japan, you know that Japan also has a lot of earthquakes, probably as many as Taiwan, if not more. So, what's so special about this building? The person says it was built with carbon fiber. This makes it look like it's covered by a spider's web. Interesting. So it sounds like it has an interesting design, and it's also made out of a special material, which is carbon fiber. Yeah, so this word is carbon fiber. Because carbon has carbon fiber. So carbon fiber is carbon fiber. So this building 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 Interesting. So it strengthens it. That means it makes it stronger. You have strength, which is the noun form of strong, and then when you add the e n at the end, you get strengthen, which means to make strong. Yeah. Yeah. So this is very good. Right? We just talked about the power of strength, right? Just power of strength. So this word is changed into an adverb. It will become strengthen. 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 Mm-hmm. So, what are we strengthening here? It is the structure. The structure could be the building, or it could be something about the building. The structure is a noun that means something that's built by putting parts together, and that usually it stands on its own. So, things like a building or a statue, or you could even consider the damper ball of Taipei One Hundred One to be a structure inside another structure. So, things like I don't know, maybe a big spaceship or a three D puzzle could also be kinds of structures. It can also mean the way that something is built. So, if you say the building has a carbon fiber structure, that means it's built out of carbon fiber. So, an example sentence could be: The structures that stand in our cities today would amaze people from 100 years ago because they're much taller. They're made out of glass, things like that. Hmm. So, structure 就是结构或建筑物都可以哦。所以文章就说呢，碳纤维可以在地震来袭的时候去加强它的结构。Okay. And the next sentence says the strong fibers also help protect Komatsu Matere against other forces such as floods and strong winds. So we have this word such or this phrase such as, which is giving an example of something we just talked about. So it's kind of like using the same words for example. 嗯，所以我们就知道说这些坚固的纤维，这边出现的 fiber， 它是纤维的意思，它就可以让这个小松马特雷免受其他力量的侵袭，像是洪水、洪水啊，或者是强风。这边的 flood 就是洪水的意思。Yeah, flood. Well, you just told us, but in English, I guess、yeah. you could explain a flood as a lot of water covering an area of land that's usually dry. So it's not a river, it's not you know a lake. Those would not be flooded. It's usually a place that's supposed to be dry, like maybe the first floor of your house if it rains a lot.、Uh, so you could say like during a big rainstorm, the streets often flood. And I've even seen fish in the streets before during a big rainstorm in Geelong. That was pretty crazy.、Mm-hmm. Or、um, you could use it as an adjective to say some place is flooded, like the city streets are flooded or、uh, flooded riverbanks, which means the river overwent its banks. So an example could be the typhoon brought floods to the city that caused a lot of damage to cars and buildings. There are more different buildings that protect from earthquakes in other ways too, and I think they're really interesting to learn about. So that's something you can explore on your own. So that's all the time we have for our article, and so that means it's time for us to go to our for you chat. For you chat. 
All right. So our For You chat question for today, we've kind of talked about it a little bit, but we can talk about it a little bit more. What's the biggest earthquake you can remember? What did you do when it struck? Yeah, as I was, I said in the beginning, the one in 2006, Hanchun Da Dijun. Um, I think I was looking in looking my looking at myself in the mirror. I was like fixing my hair and stuff, and it happened. I'm like, oh my goodness, what's going on? And then it just jumped onto my bed, which was very wrong. I shouldn't have done that. And I <laughs> you just were panicking. Like, I, I just hide. I know I hid on under my blanket, and I'm like, no, what should I do? Oh, so yeah, yeah. that's scary. So I, I did something that yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about you? Well, I mean, the 1981, I'm sorry, 1989 one, I was too little to remember it. So the biggest one I can remember was probably three years ago here. It happened at like 3 a.m. I think it was the one that caused that building in Hualien to like fall over partway. Um, oh. Yeah. You remember the one I'm talking about? I think so, but I there was think a hotel was and it went like sleeping. this. Yeah, I was sleeping too. It woke me up. Yeah. Um, but I, 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 I sat up in bed and I like kind of, you know, and freaked out. And then uh, immediately when it stopped, I went to check on my cats who were both very scared. So was that the first? Yeah, was that mm. like the first earthquake you've experienced here? Not the first. It was the biggest though. So that's all we've got. And that means we will see you next time. We hope you've enjoyed our article and take care, everybody. Bye bye. Bye. Vocabulary review. Resist. I can go swimming with my watch on because it's built to resist water. Tower. When Brian was looking out at the city, he saw a single tower that was much taller than the other buildings. Force. When the drinking glass hit the ground, the force of the fall caused it to break. Balance. The cook added some sugar to the dish to balance the taste of the salt. Structure. Jimmy built a small structure off the floor in his garden so that birds could rest there safely. Flood. Heavy rains caused a large flood yesterday. This resulted in water damage to many homes. Damper. Observation deck. Carbon fiber. Strengthen. This 活用空中美语杂志，请洽询全国各大书店。如遇索取视听教材，请来电零二二三六四四零零零零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询，网址是 triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四 u dot net。